So the remarkable discovery of this 18-foot oar fish in Catalina uh, went viral on the web, and we realized that the, uh, nobody had looked at parasites of these fishes for a very long time. The only substantial publication is uh, 50 years old. I contacted the people who had uh, found the oar fish, and uh, they agreed to, uh, when they were dissecting it, to send uh, some parts of the viscera, the intestines, the gills, uh, gallbladder, muscles, and liver tissue on up to uh, UC Santa Barbara, and uh, we would dissect it looking for uh, whatever we could find. Uh, so few oar fishes have been looked at for, by a parasitologist, maybe no more. This may have been the fourth specimen, really. We uh, found uh, two species uh, of uh, larval tapeworms, uh, in the intestine, uh, quite a few specimens. Uh, there may be, since we only had a foot of intestine, I wouldn't be surprised if there were, could have been a hundred of them in there. We found uh, more, than a, more than a dozen. Uh, that the adults of those uh, mature in sharks, and so that probably says that the predators of oar fish include some very large sharks. Most interestingly, I think, a little piece of a spiny headed worm hooks embedded in the intestinal wall of the fish. And the reason that is intriguing is uh, that those would be adults, and uh, that uh, suggests that the oarfish is eating stages uh, as the predator and probably in crustaceans like krill. So uh, just a few pieces of tissue and some very interesting parasites found.